Florida Peninsula and specifically the Sun Coast and southwestern coast of Florida. This is the blob of moisture all on the eastern side of where the low pressure center is, which is just getting into the northwesternmost Caribbean. And there's enough evidence to put it in that potential tropical cyclone phase, not not especially a depression right now, but expected to become one. And because of that, there's already a forecast track that has been released from the National Hurricane Center drifting north over the next uh, 12, 18 hours and moving to the northeast. So the cone of possible movement is directly aimed at the central and southern Florida peninsula. This is not going to be a historic storm when it comes to wind speeds. It is expected to become a tropical storm with the name Alex. And there are some alerts, specifically tropical storm watches for the I-4 corridor to the south, right down to the southern tip of the state. But this can be more of a rain producer for that region of Florida. Not so much for our section of the Big Bend in southwestern and south central Georgia. This is not going to be our storm. We'll just have some mild side effects when it comes to where the wind blows and maybe a little more cloud.